everybody, it's Jazz here, and I'm here with a different sort of video. I felt like doing something new on here, and I thought it would be cool to come up with something that had to do with my newfound love of vinyl and my ever long love of books. So I decided to make up this thing called the Vinyl Book Mashup. Basically what I'm going to do is every once in a while I'm going to pick out three of the albums that I own on vinyl and I'm going to try to match them up with books in terms of like the lyrics on some of the songs or the mood of the album or just something I associate the album with in terms of books and yeah let's see how this goes let's go on with it. The first album that I picked for this was one of my favorites that I own, and it's Nancy Sinatra's Boots. The book that I chose to match up with Boots was a book called Valley of the Dolls. This was also a movie of the same title, so you can check out the book or the movie. This is a book about three women and what fame kind of does to their lives. Some of them fall into fame, some of them are always striving for it but it doesn't doesn't always work out so well and kind of the reason why it's called Valley of the Dolls is that some of them struggle with addiction and things like that. Some people don't like Valley of the Dolls but I have always really enjoyed it because it's kind of dark and kind of just really interesting in terms of the types of characters that are involved in it. So I chose to pair it with this, first of all, because the book was written in the 60s, so it kind of fits with the time period where this album was released. There's a lot of relationships that are tumultuous and crazy in Valley of the Dolls. A lot of the songs on here deal with kind of emotions of longing or people lying or people being cheated on and those are all things that are explored in Valley of the Dolls. So I thought it was a really good fitting thing to go with that story because it's got a similar mood and attitude and it does explore some of the themes of relationships in that book album that I picked out was the soundtrack for the movie musical Tommy. Tommy was basically a musical that was written by the band The Who. Now when I got this album my mom said well why are you getting that because you don't really like the movie Tommy and that's true I do not really like the movie Tommy but I do like the music <laughs> in Tommy so I still wanted to respect the music and really enjoy that so I bought the album anyway so I realized something about Tommy and the book that I chose to pair with it Alice in Wonderland which is also a book that you who have followed me for a while probably know I don't really enjoy all that much and the reason why I kind of struggle with the movie Tommy and Alice in Wonderland is I've never done drugs but these both make me imagine what it would be like to be on drugs and it kind of freaks me out and disturbs me. I kind of don't like that feeling when I'm you know watching or reading them so that's why I went with Alice in Wonderland. However, as with Tommy, there is something that I do like about Alice in Wonderland, and that is that it's the basis for one of my favorite book series, the Looking Glass Wars trilogy, which I talk about all the time on this channel. I'm sure you're sick of it, but I really want people to read these books because I love them so much and it's pretty hilarious considering I don't like Alice in Wonderland. I still keep the book because I think it's pretty, but you know, <laughs> that's how it flies. So not unlike Tommy, there's something that good that comes out of something that maybe isn't your cup of tea. Last record that I have is the Garden State soundtrack. The Garden State soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks. I also really love the movie. I find that I associate several books with this soundtrack and I would say that they all kind of have a common theme and it's that they all share characters that kind of go through a similar journey as the main character does in Garden State. By this I mean they're all kind of usually male characters 
who are lost or feeling disenfranchised in their lives. So books like The Graduate or Harold and Maude or The Silver Linings Playbook or The Perks of Being a Wallflower or the book Twisted, which I really need to reread because I don't remember it well, but I did think of this book when I thought of this soundtrack. Those are all books that I highly enjoyed, highly suggest checking out. Basically all the kind of boy slash man coming of age struggle kind of books are something that I associate with Garden State. Oddly, almost all of those are movies except for this one. <laughs> so maybe my brain is just having a lot of irony stuff going on with that. So that was my first final book mashup. I hope you guys really like this because I would really like to do more of these and come up with more sort of book suggestions through music suggestions. But that's it for today and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye!